Father of your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hands are power and might, and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord our, our God, God, we, we praise, praise the, the splendor, splendor of, of your, your name. name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice is sounding on the waters, the Lord and immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Adore, Adore the Lord, Lord in, in his, his holy, holy court. court. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God, as we await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when he comes and knocks, he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days to come, the mountain of the temple of the Lord shall tower above the mountains and be lifted higher than the hills. All the nations will stream to it. Peoples without number will come to it, and they will say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths, since the law will go out from Zion and the oracle of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will yield authority over the nations and ad educate between many peoples. These will hammer their swords into plowshares, their spears into sickles. Nation will not lift sword against nation. There will be no more training for war. O house of Jacob, come. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. 
I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoice, I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There will set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoice when I hear them say, let us go to God's house. For the peace of Jerusalem, pray. Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. I rejoice when I hear them say, let us go to God's house. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. I rejoice, I rejoice when I hear them say, let us go to God's house. Alleluia, alleluia. Bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him. Sir, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word, and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself, and I have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes. To another, come here, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, Nowhere in Israel have I found a faith like this. And I tell you that many will come from east and west to take their places with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at a feast in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here we have the situation of the centurion captain displaying deep trust in the word of God and more, more than likely he knew very well that some of his the men in authority with him would be laughing at him and some of the Jews also because of who he is and who they consider Jesus to be now, but for some reason, his concern was not with what people say. And he saw only Jesus. Very, very important. So that is why he's able to put deep trust in the words of Jesus. And this indicates that he brought himself under the lordship of Jesus. Remember, he's telling us that I'm on authority myself, and I have people under me, and I simply obey, or they obey. Well, in a sense, he's telling the Lord that I am under you, and I'm ready to obey what you say. So you don't have to come. You just have to give the word. Now, the idea then is listen and obey. That's what he's ready to do, listen and obey. And that is why Jesus praised the captain 
for such tremendous faith and confidence in God's word. And I think that the Lord is trying to tell us, this is what faith and trust look like. And the kind of relationship that God wants us to have with his word. Deep trust in his word. That whatever God says will happen. And a longing for that word. We need to long for the word of God. We need to long for the word. Welcome the word with its vision of peace and harmony. That is welcome the word, very important. Immerse ourselves in the word. It comes to us, we immerse ourselves in it. In other words, we are tying up ourselves in the word. Let the word find a home in me and in you. And then obey that word. Obey that word. And once you obey it, it will accomplish what it was sent to do. Always remember that there are many other words out there. You turn on the radio station, the television, you go surfing on the internet. There are so many other words, but they're not the word of the Lord. But we must immerse ourselves in this word, because only this word alone can bring salvation, can bring us fulfillment, can bring us the things that we yearn for deep down. Another thing that Jesus would like us to recognize is that the word is a necessary part of our life. Can't do without it. Everybody needs the word. So even when people do not accept it, it is to their own detriment because they need a word. Don't know if you remember, there's a passage that he used to indicate that we need a word. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And that's everybody. That is everybody. So because everybody needs a word, and because this is a centurion, many Jews would consider him the enemy. Some probably would like him because he may have done something for them. But in general, he would be seen as the enemy. No? He would be seen as with the Romans against the Jews. No? He's like an arch enemy. So what is taking place? If, if everybody needs the word, and if he put his trust in the word, and Jesus send the word to heal his servant, then what is it that the Lord is telling us? The word of God is to everyone, not only for Jews, but everyone who accepts it and would like to receive the kingdom. No? And reminding us that the kingdom is to everybody. The kingdom of God is open and inclusive for everybody. So everybody needs the word of God. We need to have that great relationship with the word of God, even as we listen to all the news from around the world, with new ideas, new values, new standards. We need to know the word of God, be immersed in it, and to live it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Come Lord Jesus. Jesus. As we take up again our daily work, we turn to Christ and ask for his blessing. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Christ, you are the day star, powerfully dispelling our darkness, awakening our faith from sleep. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Reveal your presence in the world through the lives of Christian men and women. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come to create a new world where justice and peace may find a home. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. End the long night of our pride and make us humble of heart. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops to the Lord. And may they inspire us, teach us how to pray like the centurion presenting our situation to the Lord and leaving it up to God 
to decide what is best for us and be totally open to whatever God wants to do with our lives. We pray. Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we bring you our sick. Look kindly upon them and only say the word and they shall be healed. Come, we pray. Lord. Come, Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, grant the needs we carry in the silence of our hearts. Help us to actively live your word as we pray for the coming of the kingdom in our lives. We pray. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood that sustain us on our journey to our heavenly homeland. With the grace of Holy Communion, may we never lose hope in your promises or lag in zeal for your kingdom of righteousness and peace. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your, your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord and God, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, 
like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious the clergy and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We lift up to the Lord. Diane McCarthy, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O Father, and let us thank the Lord for the word, and ask the Lord to give us that courage to welcome the word, to immerse ourselves in the word, to live the word as we dare say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with you. Your Moved spirit. by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, grant us My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. If we eat of the Lord and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his love and we share in his love and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father, come through me. Share this banquet of love. Eat my flesh, drink my blood. Do this in my memory. This command says the Lord, I give specially to you. Love each man as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow, through this love man I renew. From this banquet of life, bring my love to the world, be a sign for all to see, that I bring man my peace, 
to the breaking of bread that I come to make him free. If we eat of the Lord and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his life and we share in his love and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans Listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love, eat my flesh, drink my blood, do this in my memory. This command says the Lord, I give specially to you. Love each man as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow. Through this love, man, I renew. Let us, dear friends, make the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, full of love, of life, and of goodness. And Lord, you want to come to us to dwell in our hearts, souls, and mind, so that you can pour out your heavenly goods inside of us. We love you above all the things and desire to receive you in our heart and soul and mind. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive the sacramentally, so come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, possess our hearts, souls, and minds. Come, Lord, embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to you and teach us how to embrace you and to unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And, Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. We stand for the Benedictus. Lift up your eyes, Jerusalem, and see the power of the King. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He sought Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. 
the loving kindness in the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lift up your eyes, Jerusalem, and see the power of the King. Behold, the Savior comes. He will free you from your bonds. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord our God, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with you. May God Almighty bless you and keep you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day, my friends. Thanks be to you, Father. Our recessional hymn, Come Down, Lord, 195. Come down, Lord, my son is ill. Rock with fever the lifelong day. He is life to me, if you will. Drive death away, drive death away. Lord, do not come to my house, I'm unworthy. Speak and the promise is sealed. For when your word, O Lord, is spoken, he shall be healed, he shall be healed. Come down, Lord, my soul is ill, rock with anguish the lifelong day. All my sorrowing will be still, if you but say, if you but say, Lord, do not come to my house, I'm unworthy. Speak and the promise is sealed. For when your word, O oh God, is spoken, he shall be healed, he shall be The Perpetual Novena in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fires of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us to have recourse to you. O Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who, who has vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of the, your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to Saint Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, 
that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Amen. Novena Prayer O Immaculate, Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of our Lord, Lord Jesus and our Mother, Mother penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin, and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that, so that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under, under the, the title, title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, Keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the, the Father, and of the, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me. Why fall from heaven and be? I wander in a fragile bar. For lies tempest. Never, never cease, cease I, I care, care. till 